Okay. So really quickly, I'm just going to update my Instagram and then we're going to get our live stream started today, everybody. See who comes along today. Let's see. See who comes along today. Oh, you can hear me on my Insta or on my phone. Um, copying the link so that we can get people from Instagram. Uh, oh, this is so annoying. Okay, so let's get started, everybody. Um, if anybody comes along on YouTube or on Instagram, I'll just direct them over my way uh, using my words instead of links. I was trying to figure something out. I probably should have done it before I started the stream. But either way, let's get started. So today, we have another game dev stream. I'm excited to get started. Uh, we started out with a stream on Thursday, uh, blocking out this part of the level here, and I've done, I've added a little bit extra. So um, we're working on this bunker level, and again, we're doing uh, blocking out or doesn't look up to quality yet. Uh, but the purpose of this gray boxing, whoops, the, pur the purpose of this gray boxing is essentially just to um, get everything done as quickly as possible to make a rough draft. And once we have this rough draft, it's going to be really easy to play test, and we can iterate upon this rough draft. So if you see, you know, none of the walls are currently textured, um, and of course down here nothing's really textured. Uh, but since we did our stream last uh, Thursday, I've added in a couple things. I've added in this sort of hexa uh, hexagonal uh, barrier around here, kind of makes the play flow a little bit better. And I have also added in this area, which is going to be our morgue. And again, it doesn't look like a morgue yet. Uh, you know, I might put body bags on these uh, beds later on to make it a little bit more spooky. But the whole point is that we want to block out the level so that we can make sure that it actually flows well. Um, so let's see. Uh, today, we are going to work on getting the new rooms that I've designed added to this uh, big central area. So if we come to my folder here, uh, I can show you guys what I've pretty much planned out for today. Uh, and, you know, I'm, I probably won't finish it today, and that's fine. Uh, so here we have the big hexagon map, uh, which we saw last Thursday. So we're going to be adding the kitchen. We added the morgue. Uh, we do have to add uh, a little bit more to the morgue. We have to add, like, the actual functionality because we're going to have a power core in there, which the player has to go to, grab the power core, and add it to that... Uh, add it to this orange circle. I'm pointing at the screen like you guys can actually see me pointing there. Um, but yeah, this this circle in the middle is going to be our power generator, which is going to power up the door uh, and allow the player to move through. Uh, so you need to get a core from the morgue, the kitchen, and the infirmary. So let's take a look at the kitchen and the infirmary. Uh, so what I did with the kitchen here, which I think is what we're gonna start with, I actually just stole like a floor plan uh, from somebody online. Um, I just looked up a uh, restaurant kitchen floor plan um, and I pretty much took a very, a very similar design. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I can get in trouble for that, but uh, hopefully not. Um, so if we see here, um, we've taken this floor plan uh, and we've, I've drawn on top of it some of the stuff that we're going to have. Uh, we're going to have the power core back here in the storage. Uh, we're going to have a note from the chef, which is going to be a sort of lore material. And it's also going to instruct the player that you can get a backpack from the locker, uh, which we'll have to implement. That'll just give the player extra... Um, that'll just give the player some extra uh, room in their inventory, which might be necessary uh, down the road. And then we will also have cabinets that the player is going to be able to hide in because, of course, the monster is going to be able to follow the player into the kitchen, uh, you know, if if necessary. Um, and if, yeah, if necessary, the player is going to have to hide. Um, of course, we will have the gun as well, um, which will help the player uh, if they get into a really tight spot. 
Uh, finally, so we've got our morgue floor plan. This is the most simple room. It's the one that I pretty much just knocked out really quick yesterday. Um, we're going to have the door code written in blood, uh, another hiding item. So we still have to add in some functionality stuff into that morgue, but I want to block everything out first. So we've got that. And then finally, we have our infirmary. So we're going to add this infirmary. Um, I took a, a similarly, I pretty much looked up like infirmary or ICU floor plan online, and I got something that I think looks pretty good. But how we are going to modify this one, um, we're essentially going to build it like this first. Like we're imagining that this is how it was built before everything went to shit um, in, in the game world. Uh, and we're pretty much going to, uh, we're going to mess the whole place up. So all these walls are actually going to be these hospital dividers that we have. And I'm going to try and uh, sort of move these hospital dividers along. So it almost makes a maze inside of the ICU. The ICU is going to be the biggest room that we have here. And then we have two sort of smaller rooms, uh, two sort of smaller rooms on the left and then a big room on the right. We won't have a room down here on the bottom right. Um, but yeah, we're going to try and make this very big, very maze-like, very claustrophobic. This is, you know, potentially going to be one of the scariest uh, rooms in the game. So we're going to put a lot of work into making sure uh, that it's blocked out well beforehand, right? So let's go ahead and get started working. So we've blocked out the morgue. Um, we've pretty much put in all this stuff that's going to really block the player from moving around the space. So the space itself is all in place. Now we're going to block out the kitchen. So to do this, we are going to open up our Pro Builder window. And we're going to add a new shape. Uh, we can move this Pro Builder window maybe to the bottom left over here. And we are going to add in a cube, which is going to act as our floor. And we're going to make it pretty big. Again, the dimensions are going to change. This is a rough draft, so everything is going to be um, pretty much redone. Uh, this is really for playtesting, so it doesn't have to be perfect. But yeah, let's look at the floor plan first. We're going to make sure that we know what we're doing. So I see you. I'll close that for now. Yeah, so the kitchen here, the way this floor plan works, and I kind of like it, but it's gonna it's gonna overlap with our morgue over here. Uh, so maybe I need to make this door uh, shift the door over to the right a little bit. Mm. Then it could make, but then it could make this hallway feel quite empty. It's not a huge space though, so maybe that's not something we have to worry about. Uh, you know, this is just the planning process. This is why we have to do blocking out instead of just going right into uh, designing the level itself. So, I mean, yeah, if we had the door all the way over here, it would be super easy. Maybe we just want to move the door. Like, it's not a super long corridor. I feel like it's okay if the doors aren't perfectly even along each side. Uh, the player's probably not going to try and complain about any of that stuff. Mm. I say we move the door. You know, we can always move it back. Uh, we can always move it back later. Uh, this is, you know, this is why we block. So we'll see if it works. And if it doesn't, uh, that's why we're trying to do it fast. We're not trying to make it perfect right now. So we'll grab these uh, inner faces and see if that'll... We might just be able to move it like that. Uh, you know, it's going to really mess up the... Oh, no. Yeah, no, we need to actually grab all the edges because these edges are not connected. Uh, if you'll notice, the geometry in this level is currently super messed up. Uh, but my motto last stream was, I don't care at all. We don't give a crap. because all this stuff is going to be redone eventually. So we just want to make it really good enough, you know? So let's go ahead. We can use this. I know there's a tool down here. 
set triggers, set loader. Fill, no, we don't want to fill the hole. You can select, there we go, select holes. So yeah, that should grab that big hole there for us. Uh, grabbed a little bit more, a little bit less than we needed. I'm not sure really. We're gonna have to go around this inner part here. Yeah, this is this is a little tricky. This is why this is why, especially when you're not iterating, when you're doing an actual build, you want to make sure that your geometry is clean. Let's see what happens if we move the door. Let's just oh, that actually kind of works. Uh, we'll want to grab. We'll probably want to grab these edges up here because we just want to slide it along the surface. We don't actually want to distort anything really. It looks pretty good. Um, and let's see if we can, uh, let's try global. Will that work? Probably not. No. Yeah. So it's going to look a little messy here. We're going to have to drag it along without really uh, being able to slide along the surface. That's why using blender is, Usually a little bit easier for this kind of stuff, but for the purpose of this video, we're just going for quick and easy. Okay, that looks pretty solid, right? Yeah, and then the player walks in, they can see the door to the left, or maybe they want to explore down this way. They have a choice when they walk in to either go left or right. And Let's look at the floor plan one more time. Yeah, it's really close to the edge there, but I think we'll have enough room to add in what we want uh, without interfering with the more now. Let's maybe just move it a little tiny bit more to the right. That should be good. Okay, so now we can start working on our kitchen. We're going to add a new shape. You can come click new shape in the Pro Builder window. Make sure that you're selecting a cube, and then we're going to add a cube as our floor. Yeah, that's always annoying. Okay, so we're going to have to, it goes up first, which is annoying. I, I would rather be able to drag it out first, but and then add the height. But it doesn't always work out like that, so we're going to have to go here and... Um, maybe we don't want to start from there, maybe we want to... So it looks like it's going outwards from both directions. Yeah, so we do something like that. Maybe try and match it up with our, well, we can always, you can always bring it up. It doesn't matter really. Okay, and then we can pull it out and just eyeball it because we'll, we'll make changes eventually, but that looks like it's about the dimensions of our kitchen, right? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. So let's grab our thing. Let's make it level with the ground. This is actually really annoying. Okay, there we go. And let's go ahead and add in our walls. What we want to do is we want to grab the side edges. And for each edge, we're going to, or not for each edge, but when you grab a horizontal edge like this, it's going to make a vertical line when you subdivide it. Or uh, not when you subdivide it, it's when you yeah insert an edge loop. So you see here we insert an edge loop, drag this over to the side, and we're going to make these walls. We'll also need to make some dividing walls for the storage room and the walk-in cooler. So we're, we'll get all of that done right now. Let's grab this again, but let's make the outer walls first. Uh, got tagged in a post, which is strange because I don't really do anything. <laughs> I don't know what I got tagged in. wonder if it's just a scam or something like that. All right, so we got this edge loop here, and now we grab the edge loop that's vertical to make a horizontal edge loop so we can put in this wall along this line right here. Insert edge loop, drag it close to the... Whoa, whoa. Why? Oh, because I'm selecting another edge loop for some reason. So we're going to have to, okay, we're going to have to deselect that. And then I think we can just click here and do select edge loop and Unity does the work for us. There we go. All right, we've got our walls blocked out. Now we just have to extrude. So in order to extrude a face, you're going to have to select the face. So we want to extrude this wall right here and bring it up. 
we'll grab this corner, not 100% necessary, but we'll grab this face right here to make another wall. All of our faces that we need are looking good. And now uh, there's different ways that you can extrude. You can go ahead and scroll down to the bottom and click, uh, should be something that says extrude, yep, extrude faces. But the easier way to do it is just simply to press shift. Oh, we're gonna wanna make sure that we're in uh, grab and move mode. Shift, and then we're gonna move the wall up and it will automatically extrude for us. Very useful. Okay, as you can see, we are going a little out, so we're gonna we're gonna want to grab this entire object and see if we can move it over without interfering with the morgue. Mm, this is tricky. Got a little bit of a yeah. So this goes in. Uh, we'll have to make another wall right here, I guess. So maybe we can just grab. Hmm. <laughs> we'll have to make another edge loop. So let's go down here, grab an edge. And to make a horizontal edge loop, we want to grab a vertical line. So we'll grab this line right here. Insert edge loop. There it is. And we'll want to drag this right along here so that we can make a new wall. Hmm, tricky, tricky, tricky. Oh, you know what? No, that was dumb. I actually had a different plan and then I just completely started doing a different thing for no good reason. We are going to, how do we do this? Insert edge loop, where are you? Yeah, insert edge loop here. Okay, yeah, so what I wanted to do, this is gonna be a little hacky, uh, but we're gonna drag this edge loop along. Hacky solutions are the best kind. So uh, we're gonna drag the edge loop so that it matches up with the edge of that wall. That looks good, right? Yeah. That looks close enough to me. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this face right here. We're gonna extrude it just slightly and then we're going to extrude it upwards to make ourselves a wall. Grab this face now and we can extrude it upwards and make ourselves the end of that wall. Perfect, that actually worked out. <laughs> that worked out way better than I thought it would. That really should have been a disaster, but it's pretty simple stuff. Uh, I wonder if that's going into the hallway. Hopefully not. If nothing, we can make it. Yep, no, we're good. Uh, we could have made it skinnier uh, if necessary, but looks like we got away with it. Just like OJ Simpson. Yeah, doesn't need to be perfect. Looks good. Uh, so we did that and, you know, let's go ahead and add in a ceiling. So we take the moon and we take the sun, take everything nice and so fun. Can we just insert an edge loop like that? Nope. Yep. Not following my own rules. To get a horizontal edge loop, we need to grab a vertical line. So we grab that one and there we go. And now we're just going to pull this as close to the ceiling as possible, or as close to the top as possible, and extrude one of these faces to get ourselves a ceiling. And it doesn't matter how thin or how thick it is, like, the players aren't going to be able to tell because they'll be inside the building the entire time. There we go. Yeah, and it can have a little bit of overlap because Armada, we don't give a crap. Okay, that's actually looking pretty good. Let me take a sip of, ooh, I need to refill my water. Be right back. Stay hydrated out there, everyone. Very important. Okay. So that is looking just dandy. I don't know why we're seeing these weird lines, but I'm sure the player can't see it, so we don't care. Uh, let's pull up our floor plan. 
Okay, so we want to make our walk-in cooler and our power core, so we're going to have to keep subdividing. Mm. Or maybe we just make walls there. It might actually be... We might have more control. Hmm. Now, let's make it... This is a tough one. Tough choice. So I'm trying to decide whether I want to make um, just like if I want to keep doing this subdivision and extrusion thing to make these walls or if I just want to make uh, extra cubes. You know, it actually might be easier to tinker with if we just make it extra cubes. That way we're not really messing with the geometry whenever uh, we're not really messing with the geometry whenever we make a change, whenever we want to say slide it over and make the storage bigger, make it smaller, whatever. So I think I'm going to make it a, an extra cube. So let's go new shape. Uh, and, and I think we're already selecting cube, so we can just drag it out. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, I've had a little bit of trouble with this uh, with this shape tool when trying to do it like inside. Of, oh, it's yeah, it's because we're inside another shape uh, that it's giving us a little bit of trouble. Yeah, so we're gonna extrude this out like this, and we'll just make the edits once we're inside. I I can't, you know, I'm trying to eyeball it here, but it's not entirely possible. So we're gonna do it like that. We're gonna pull it out. There we have a wall, and you notice that it is doing that. Uh, annoying sort of uh you know it's going it's coming out on a side uh which kind of sucks uh but it's because that's the global it's it's doing it along with the global space and you know it's running along these axes so it's making it go along the z-axis uh, and we can't really do anything about that but if you know anything about geometry we can just uh, turn this, to make it parallel with the side of the hexagon, we can just turn it 60 degrees. Uh, good to know a little bit of your geometry. Oh, we want to do negative 60 degrees, I believe. Oops. Hmm. Maybe I don't know anything about geometry. Hey, if it works, it works. <laughs> um, no, I, th I think that's just some weird stuff with like parenting. I don't know. Uh, but we're going to drag this down and we have ourselves a wall. We probably want to make this a little bit less thick. So let's grab this face here. That looks about wall size, right? Hey, Hannah. Hannah just joined my live stream on Instagram. Go to YouTube if you want to see the, uh, if you want to be able to see the actual screen and the stuff that I'm working on. Um, but let's take a look at this floor plan. So what I'm noticing is that these walls actually do connect. So we can just make it one big wall uh, that goes through the kitchen. And then, um, and then we can cut out door holes whenever we need. So let's grab this face and let's drag it all the way to our wall. It's about good. And yeah, this looks like our wall. Is this going to be enough room for the pantry uh, and the freezer? Honestly, yeah, I think so. I think this looks pretty good. So let's start cutting out our door holes. Uh, we're going to have to grab this edge down here, which is a little bit tricky. Might want to go into wireframe mode so that we can see what we're working with. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we lost it. Yeah, that's the tricky part uh, about going. Okay, so we've got our wall right here. We want to go into edge mode, wireframe, and we want to grab these two edges down here. Uh, I think we can insert a loop, an edge loop, just with the one, uh, just with the just with the one loop there. So let's go ahead and insert edge loop. There we go. We've got our first loop. Uh, we're going to have to make a 
couple of these. We're going to have to make four of them because we're going to make a door, or two doors. So we'll have the first one. And again, we're just eyeballing this. It doesn't have to look perfect. Yeah, so the walking cooler is going to be a lot smaller. So we're going to have this door like... Let's actually do the walking cooler door first. That'll be our first one. Insert edge loop. That's going to be our first door, just about. Maybe we'll make it a little bit wider. Oh, then we have to grab the whole loop. So we can come up here, uh, select edge loop, and drag this along just a little bit, make the door a bit wider. And you know, I'm wondering if we can actually duplicate edges. Because if we could do that, we could just duplicate this door and slide it along. I'm guessing that. I'm guessing Unity Pro Builder doesn't work like that, but we hit Control D and nothing happens. Yeah, so we're gonna have to do this again manually. Come down, insert edge loop, and we'll have it around like here or so. Yeah, that should be good. Make one more. Okay, that looks about good. We'll have the divider going down here. So let's cut out these door holes, then we'll add the divider and we'll actually have a space to move around in, uh, which we can just fill up with uh, stoves and refrigerators and whatever we need. So let's go ahead and... Uh, let's come out of wireframe mode. Wireframe's a little bit annoying. We only really need it every once in a while. So let's grab this edge right here, insert edge loop, and how tall is our door gonna be? That's a good question. I honestly didn't really know. You know what, we're just gonna eyeball it. And yeah, these are some skinny doors. We'll probably have to make these doors a little bit wider. Let's go ahead, insert edge loop, or select edge loop. Make that a little bit wider. Same thing over here. Edge loop, make it wider. Looks good. Select the edge loop again. And I think that the doors are probably going to stop right about there. I get, nah, yeah, we should probably have it go with the. Actually, those doors are friggin' huge, though. These doors over here are like way too big. So maybe we make it a little bit below, so that's fine. Oh, hey, Nana. Hey, Santi. Oh my gosh, the whole the whole Rutgers Running Club is joining me on uh, on Instagram. Hey, everybody. How's it going? I am currently doing a game dev live stream. So if you want to see my screen, you can go onto YouTube. I'm streaming on YouTube. You're chilling in a field. Oh, I'm jealous. Miss you too. What field are you chilling in? My, uh, my old running club has taken over. Buy some alp, dude, stop, you're making me so jealous. You're in a field chilling with alpacas and I'm sitting in my apartment working on a game that I hate. <laughs> Come back to NJ, please. Oh, thank you, Anya, video games are cool. Come back to, I am coming back to NJ, I told you, I'm coming uh, May, when am I coming? May 8th, I'll be there. Video games are cool, and Col yeah, all of Colorado is cool too. <laughs> okay, well, if you guys wanna stick around, feel free, uh, but I'm gonna keep working on my game. So if you wanna see that happening, uh, you can you can join on my YouTube live stream, but if you just stick around on, on Instagram, it's just gonna look like I'm sitting there doing nothing talking into the void. Okay, so let's continue with uh, with what we were doing. So, 
Uh, we want to make these doors. Uh, we cut out the door holes. So I'm actually going to come in and see how things look in play mode before I go forward. Okay, so you come in here, come to the left. Yeah, and the lighting looks really weird in the game right now. That's because I added in this directional light that pretty much is like as strong as the sun. Hey, June, how's it going? Working on the game uh, in on the YouTube live stream night right now. If you want to check it out, but uh, uh, I'm gonna keep going because we're we're on a roll right now. Uh, so inside the game, uh, I have this big directional light that pretty much looks like the sun, even though we're underground. It's pretty much just for testing. And it looks super weird because I have this dark fog on, which actually gives like the night effect. Um, oh, June, thank you. I, I appreciate that. June called me hot in the uh, in the Instagram chat over here. Um, very nice of him. Okay, but let's walk into here. Uh, so yeah, you can see that it looks like dark in some places, but the light from the sun is shining through. It doesn't make sense, but it's just for testing right now so that it's not super dark. Mm, that looks about door size to me, right? I think that actually looks pretty good. Uh, yeah, I think I'm actually happy with this, so we don't have to make any changes, really. Uh, all we want to do is we want to fill in these door gaps, uh, and then we'll add a divider between the storage, lo the storage and the um, the cooler. The New Jersey friends just sent me their uh, a picture of them chilling in the field. I'm pretty jealous. Sent that to the group chat. Go ahead and like that. A little bit distracted here, but that's okay. We're just chilling, having a good time. Filling in holes. Just a dude chilling, filling in holes. Wait, what's going on here? <gasps> what the Fuck. Why is this? Oh. What was that? Oh, that's super weird. I thought I had it selected, so that I, I thought that, um... I thought that I could see that. Okay, but let's go ahead. We're gonna grab this ring loop here. Uh, we come down to... Uh, I think you can do select holes. Yeah, there we go. And we can shift select to extrude and make that face match up with the door. That looks pretty good. Let's do the same thing on the inside right here. Go ahead and select edge. Oh no, we want to do select holes, not select edge ring. Uh, we do select holes, shift select, and fill in that extra part of the door. So the door is looking pretty good. Uh, we're already coming along well with our kitchen. So we're going to have to add this divider in here uh, to divide the storage and the walk-in cooler. So we are going to come to, we're going to make this um, full screen. You can do that by pressing shift and space. That's a pretty useful uh, command to know. And then we can come over to new shape and we're going to create a cube. Of course, Pro Builder is a little bit annoying. You can't really like create uh, shapes inside of other shapes, or at least I'm having trouble with it recently. Uh, so I'm going to create another uh, wall on top of what we're building. And I'm just going to drag it down. Uh, we should rotate this 30 degrees, or I think it's negative 30 degrees, so that it's parallel with our stuff. You probably want to make this a little bit tighter, a little bit of a smaller wall. So we grab the face in face select mode, and we make this a little skinnier. And now let's just move this into place so that we can feel out our space. Uh, we want to make this so that it's not sticking out, obviously, but let's just get it in place first. We're going to drag it all the way down to the floor. So it's just barely intersecting. Uh, we'll grab this top face and extrude it upwards. Oh, this one isn't top touching the ceiling either, so we're going to have to extrude both of these. A little bit tough when you have so little space. 
let's bring this up to the ceiling. And it doesn't even matter if it goes through the ceiling because nobody's going to be looking at our level from above. And especially considering this is just a rough draft and we're probably going to make a lot of changes. But that is already looking really awesome. What is going on over here? Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, I'm going to have to control Z what I just did because I don't feel like evening that out now. I accidentally grabbed, yeah. So we, we made these... Uh, we made these edge loops here um, and that pretty much divided up all faces, including the top one. So I need to make sure that I'm grabbing the entire thing before I start extruding up. That was pretty silly of me. Okay, that's looking pretty much good. Let's extrude this up to the ceiling. Or not extrude, we're, actually, uh, we're not extruding. Extruding is when you add extra geometry on. We're pretty much just, I don't really know how to, how to call it, drag and dropping, whatever you want to say. Uh, let's make this go up to the ceiling. Similar to what we just did, drag it all the way up. Okay, that looks pretty solid. And then finally, let's grab this edge right here, and we're going to make it disappear. It's probably somewhere in the middle of that geometry, but overlapping geometry, you know, it's a bad idea when you're doing actual, uh, when you're creating actual levels that the players are going to see. That can cause um, a lot of lag, stuff like that. But simply by, um, yeah, we're just doing a rough draft here. You know, this none of this is going to stay in the game. We're just pretty much blocking out the space. So we are happy with this. I think this is looking really awesome so far. Uh, let's pull up our floor plan. We have to add in everything else now. So we'll make a long block going along the side, which is pretty much going to be like stoves and fryers and stuff like that. We'll add a locker in the corner over here. And yeah, so let's just add in all these blocks. Uh, I'm going to keep this open over in my other window, but I'll bring it back in case there's anything crazy going on. But that's a good reason to have two monitors. I can just look, I can just glance over and see what has to be added. So I'm gonna take a sip of my water. Stay hydrated, hydrate before you dehydrate. Um, and let's go ahead and add in our shapes. Um, Oh, this is so annoying that I can't add the shapes in when I'm inside these rooms. It would just be so much easier. But Pro Builder has some good things, some bad things about it. Uh, so we're not going to worry too much. Uh, let's go ahead and just create our shapes on the top. Uh, so this is going to be a really long one, but it doesn't need to be perfect because we're just going to drag it down anyways. Uh, we're going to want to rotate this by 30 degrees in the positive y direction. That was not correct. Negative 30? Okay, yeah, you're right. I'm going to drag this down into our seam. We'll make it so that it's just barely connecting with the floor. doesn't really matter if there's any overlap, though. And we're going to drag this over to the side over here, try to make uh, something that looks Something that resembles a stove, but it doesn't have to be perfect. So, try this. How high is this? Probably want it to be a bit higher, like up to here. And let's make it a lot wider. Leave a little bit of room over here for two lockers. And then if we look over here, it goes straight into the wall, which looks kind of nice. Uh, you have the ovens on the left, so we'll just drag this all the way into the wall. Looks like we have somebody out there viewing our YouTube live stream. Make yourself known. Who are you? <laughs> Say hi in the chat. And I'm I'm lonely. Tell me who tell me who you are. Maybe they uh maybe they don't have a YouTube account. Maybe they're just watching uh, and they can't comment. But whoever is out there, hello. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, let's keep going. And hopefully. Whoever is watching our stream will will say hi. Uh, new shape. Uh, let's make it widescreen again. 
Oh, it's so annoying that we have to keep coming up here to do this, but what are you going to do? You know, when we're making the actual level and we're, we're making it look really nice, uh, we won't have to worry about that because we'll be working in Blender. And I'm sure I'll do that on live stream as well. Uh, so you can see the whole process of creating a level, really. Uh, maybe I could add these uh, live streams to some sort of a playlist, like blocking and creating levels. Um, but I'm pretty new to this stuff too, so take everything I say with a grain of salt. I'm pretty much just going off of what I've heard from all the YouTube videos and stuff like that that I've learned from over the years. So let's rotate this by negative 30, right? Nope. Okay, so it's negative 30, then we want to add another 90. So let's just do it by like 60, that'll do it. Yeah, there we go. Big math, big math brain. Started out as a uh, math minor. <laughs> okay, it is Hannah, I figured. I had a fleeting suspicion that it's Hannah, my girlfriend. Um, okay, that looks about good, right? Let's grab this and make it a little bit wider. But we're going to have two of these. So we can probably just duplicate this bad boy. Uh, we'll grab it and press Control D. Control D is a very is a command that you pretty much need to know in Unity because you're going to be duplicating geometry. And we're going to pull this up here. Yeah, that's already looking pretty good, right? Pretty solid. So this is almost all of our space blocked out, which is awesome. Um, the floor plan for the kitchen does have this extra stuff right here. That's a sink, right? Mm. We would need extra space, I guess, over here, or we could just make this a little bit tighter. Uh, yeah, let's, let's just follow the floor plan. You know, we can always take stuff out later. Um, it's not a big deal, so... I'm going to probably duplicate that again and then just work with the geometry. In fact, that's what I should have done for this uh, this bad boy right here. Uh, but this one might be a little bit taller because it's our sinks. So let's make it a little tiny bit taller. Um, that looks pretty good. And it's also going to be longer, so it's going to pretty much cover most of that wall. Let's make this go back to like here. Maybe we make it a little skinnier too. So that it's not taking up as much space. And we come out to about here. Make it a little skinnier. Okay, cool. That looks good. Push that into the wall. And this is pretty much our space blocked out. I think we have one more thing to add. Uh, I don't even know what this is supposed to be, but we'll add it. Why not? Um, yeah, let's just duplicate the geometry. I think this is the easiest way to do it. Come over here, rotate it by 90 degrees in the, oops. Let's press E to rotate. I just, I'm using this. Okay, so it's in the negative direction. So we're going to make this negative 30. Quick math for you guys. And we're going to make these taller and pretty skinny but it's two of them to two objects together which is good to remember but again this is all just for like play testing purposes doesn't have to look good at all we'll make it two units i don't even know if i don't know if that's accurate because of how we've been distorting the geometry but yeah let's make this a little bit maybe this is like a cabinet or something. oh this is a, this is probably a fridge actually yeah it's probably a fridge um, so we'll do that there. And yeah, it looks like it's kind of starting where this one ends. So let's just follow what they're saying. Big fridge. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but we'll try and line it up a little bit. Kind of like that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Oh, and it's a, it looks like it's a double fridge. So, you know, let's just make two objects. Let's not... Can, mm, no, let's just make it one big fridge. We don't have to make it exactly like the floor plan. And you can see that some of this stuff is sticking out, but do we care? Nah, not at all. Pod to two. Oh, 
of stretching. Mm, looks like nobody's watching, so that was a good time to take a little stretch break. Oh, make sure to stretch. Make sure you're being limber. Oh. Okie dokie. Let's keep going. Um, yeah, so this is pretty much our space blocked out. Looks pretty awesome so far. Um, you know, I, not, you know, it doesn't look visually spectacular or anything, but it looks like an area that you could play around with. So let's go ahead and test it out. You'll notice that I'm not playing in maximized mode, uh, especially when I'm on stream. I like to play in maximized mode, but Unity has a friggin' bug right now where you can't get rid of your mouse cursor when you're playing and it's just so frustrating uh, when you're in maximized mode specifically. Okay, I like it, I like it. Cool, so we gotta add the lockers in here. So you can come in here, grab your storage module. You know, I recently changed the move speed of the player character. I'm wondering if we want to make him move a little bit faster. Uh, you know, I kind of wanted to do it because it's a slow-paced game, but could be frustrating. Maybe that's something that we ask the playtesters, because, you know, maybe it's alright. Uh, but, see my arms up there. Uh, this is pretty much good. This is the space blocked out. So, uh, we're going to exit out of here. And, yeah, let's add those lockers in. So we're going to come into our asset store. You know, we've bought a lot of assets for this game. Um, and, you know, sometimes people sometimes people are, have that with a sort of nasty connotation. They're like, you, you buy assets? And it's like, you're, you're damn right I buy assets. Um, buying assets is, it's important uh, for a solo developer. I mean... You know, there are amazing people out there who were able to friggin' create all of Stardew Valley on their own, but that is not everybody, I'm telling you. Um, it's just not realistic for most people to be able to have that sort of work output. So we're not going to worry about it. I'm going to look up Locker because there were these double lockers, and for some reason I'm never able to find them. When I'm just looking through my stuff. Oh, I think that's them. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. Maybe I just passed by them. But let's make them these yellow lockers. These look absurdly small. So let's scale these this bad boy up to like 1.2 or something. 1.4. Uh, it probably shouldn't be as tall as the door. So let's go 1.3. That should be good. And this needs to be rotated with 30 plus some negative 30 plus some number. I think we can actually just do the arithmetic in Unity, which is not a feature that I often use, but maybe it's one that I should. Uh, and we're rotating it, net, or it should be minus 90. There we go. Does the calculations for you. Yeah, that looks good. Let's move it back towards the wall a little bit more. And let's duplicate it. We're going to have two lockers. That looks pretty awesome. Yeah, I think this is our space. Uh, and we're not going to really do much more in here. Uh, obviously, we, we still have to flesh stuff out. Um, we have to add in the objects that you need to power the generator, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but there's no rush to do it. The way I'm doing things is I'm making the spaces first, and then we add in the functionality, really. So that looks good. We only have one more room to go. And you know what? Like, I was kind of thinking, like, uh, like, do we end the stream here? Like, you know, we made a good chunk. We blocked out the space for the kitchen, but I say we keep going. I say we go on. This game needs to get done, you know? So pro builder window, 
new shape. And this is going to be a pretty large room. So it's, it's going to be our largest one yet. So let's just make a really big base. Really, really big. Might want to make it smaller eventually, but not yet. Um, I'm going to have to rotate it so that it looks good, but that's fine for now. Let's drag it up. Well, no, we want to have the whole thing selected. Drag her up. That looks to be a little bit low. Let's make it a little bit more. Okay, cool. And let's just rotate this bitch. It's probably not, yeah, it's just like, it just looks so awkward because this part got so messed up when I was blocking stuff out, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, just try and make it as in line with the door as possible. Right. I'm really excited. Um, you know, like I, I want to get this stuff done for real because um, I'm really excited to start playtesting this level. Um, it feels like I've been working on this bunker forever. Like, I feel like I put in way too much work up, way too much, not work necessarily. But way too much time up here. I, you know, there's just so much stuff that I messed around with. I made it, I decorated a little bit too much up here. I probably should have been blocking out the space, like I mentioned. But I'm so excited to get finally get the monster in here and actually be able to play this level because, you know, I've been working on it forever and it, it just feels like nothing right now, you know. Um, but I know that it deserves more than that. Really quickly. Just because this has been bothering me, I'm going to make the ceiling to this area. Let's see if, if we insert an edge loop, is it just going to be... Oh, perfect! I thought maybe since the geometry here is just so effed up, it wouldn't work, but... Oh, and you know what? <laughs> I don't even know how I'm supposed to make the thing up here. See, in Blender, there's a way that I could grab all these faces and um, let's see if I can select the ring loop. Nope, grab the wrong one. Select face ring. There we go. So if we had the selection in Blender, I know there's a way that you can extrude in and make sure that the geometry doesn't overlap, but I am pretty much certain that you cannot friggin' do that in in Unity Pro Builder. So we might just have to, we're just gonna have to have over, overlapping geometry. Um, and guess what? I don't care. I don't give a crap. Not my problem. That looks good, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's shift grab. So we're just gonna have the uh, we're just gonna have the ceiling really be like overlapping itself on these sides. Yeah, I, I can't think of anything better. And this is quick and dirty. I'm sure if I took, I'm sure if I took like 20 minutes to really plan this out, I could come up with an awesome solution. But that is not the goal. Shift select. All right, so let's just shift here and then grab. Yeah, no, just just overlap it. I don't care. I do not care. Literally, do not care at all. Like, don't even ask me how little I care. Cause it's a little, very little, tiny little bit. That's how little I care. Look at this. Look at how messed up this friggin' wall is. Ask me, do I care? Ask me. Go ahead and ask me. Not at all. I don't care at all. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Okay. There we go. 
All right, let's drag this bad boy out. Cool. Honestly, like, that was kind of funny. I kind of like it though. And none of this, uh, none of these lines, like, this is so bad. It looks so bad uh, when we're looking at it. But first off, the playtesters aren't going to be able to tell uh, because they can't actually see the geometry. They can only see the, um, the projections of the textures. So why even care? Why even bother? And look, the it's lined up. Okay, whatever. I'm 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 done. I'm done talking about this part. But it worked out well. That's that's how you make. That's how you rough draft. All right. You know what? I have not uploaded my uh, changes to GitHub in a very long time. I should probably do that today. But I'm not going to do that on stream just in case because. I don't want you mongrels getting my getting my source code. Stay away from my source code. Uh, okay, let's make this a little better. Let's rotate it just a bit more. Looks good, right? Yeah, that looks good. And look at how look at how they have these like one meter markings for the uh, textures that I'm using in Pro Builder. But like they just get so distorted when I start messing with stuff. It's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Okay. Let's start ring looping, ring looping this bitch up. So we got that grab. We go ahead and so edge loop. So just like we did before, let's make our walls first. Well, there. Insert edge loop. I am in the mood for Mexican food right now. Anybody ever just get those cravings? Those crazy cravings? Uh, yeah, so this is super messed up over here. So I think we're just going to make, we might just make walls on all four sides, you know? So let's go insert edge loop. Let's do it twice. Well, actually, let's just grab this first. <sighs> Select edge loop. And let's make one more. Insert edge loop. Yep, that looks good. Yeah, the only annoying part is that we'll have to cut another door hole out of this face. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll just have to do it. Just got to get her done. You know, instead of cutting out the door hole, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to really quickly grab one of these verticals to make, nope, we got to grab one of the horizontals to make a vertical. We'll line this up with the door and we're just going to extrude on the two sides over there. We are not going to worry about, maybe I should have done this after I extruded this face over here, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, that looks about good. Um, you know what? I just realized, let's take, I haven't even really looked at the infirmary. Uh, where does, where do we want to start from? Because we actually might be doing this a little bit. Yeah, Ooh, hoo, hoo. I just realized I was doing this not super well. Yeah, so we're going to want to come in from over here. I actually like that starting spot uh, so that there's more to explore sort of on the right side. Uh, and this is kind of more, yeah, this is more square than what we have right now. So do we want to resize or do we just want to go with this? Because like this might, the, the layout that we have right now, might actually work well for creating like a maze sort of area. Yeah, we're just gonna wing it. This part we're kind of winging it. Uh, we have the floor plan, but it's more, it's almost more like inspiration for me. But yeah, that's gonna come out pretty far that way. And over here, we're just gonna have to make sure that when we block out this part, 
Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't conflict. We're gonna have another door right about here, and then the, we're gonna have a hallway coming out here. Shouldn't uh shouldn't actually mess with the um what the do I call it? <sighs> the hallway. Erky derky. Uh, let's keep going. Let's see how much of this we can get blocked out. I don't expect we're gonna finish this quite today, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, let's create the let's create the edge loops first. I like how I was doing it before. Now that I think about it, pull this right here, line it up with the door, and create one more. Nice, looking good, looking good. Okay, that should be good. Now let's start extruding up our walls. Uh, let's just grab all of our faces and extrude them together. Because that is how we do. Oh, you know what? We can probably can we grab the whole edge loop. Okay, I don't know why I grabbed that face, but... Okay, yeah, that just didn't work. That's fine. So we don't want to select this one because we're going to uh, be making the door there. What was going on here? Oh, this got so... Oh, why'd you do that? Okay, let's just... Let's go back. That didn't work at all. We're just gonna... Grab the loop ourselves. Don't grab that one. Got that long face right there. Okay, now I can shift and drag it up to make our hospital. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Let's make the wall. Let's make the ceilings a little bit bigger. Kind of give that feeling of dread to the player, like they're tiny and insignificant. Exactly what we're going for. Let's grab an edge. Insert edge loop and create ourselves our ceiling. Cool. Shift, drag her out, and we have ourselves a ceiling. We just need to connect this part up here top of the door, which means we need another ring loop. Mm -hmm. Oh, inserts down here. I'm being silly. Uh, that was incorrect. Not following my own advice here. Okay, there we go. I try to stop the door. That looks pretty solid, actually. Okay. Might be a little lower. Make it a little higher. Much better. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Rough draft. Stop trying to make make it look perfect. Doesn't have to look perfect. Shift, grab, drag it out. And would you look at that? We have ourselves. An infirmary. Uh, obviously, we need to add a lot more here, though. So this one's probably going to be the hardest to block out because, uh, you know, as I said, I want to make it sort of maze-like. So the blocking out process has, uh, you know, it's it's not as simple as just adding in a couple counters like we did in the kitchen. So. As I mentioned before, we're going to take inspiration from this, but it's not going to be exact isolation room that sounds spooky I don't maybe yeah maybe I do want to have some of these isolation rooms in the back and that's where I could put one of these power cores in one of these spooky isolation rooms okay so let's go ahead and what is this are these like closets or something like that
So maybe we can have a closet to hide in with like medical supplies and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, so Hmm. Let's see how big this space feels when we actually walk there. Because I don't know if I have a really good sense of the scale right now. Oh, that was dumb. I started in play mode when we had the scene completely covering. Uh, I'm going to put it in maximized mode. You guys can see what I was talking about with the mouse. Really annoying stuff, but... Yeah, this is like a really good size for fitting in everything that I want. And it might even be a little big. How do you make a maze? That's the question. How do you, how do you design a maze? That's a good question for like a game designer, you know? Probably a good research question for when I'm not on stream. Because that one isn't going to have a simple answer, I'm sure. So we're gonna have, yeah, what we're gonna do, let me go ahead, I kinda wanna make like a little tiny room right here. That could be our sort of closet area, which divides things. And then you have to walk here and go into the maze area like here. Yeah, so let's go ahead and bring this up. New shape, cube. Not gonna let me make it inside, which is annoying, but whatever. We're gonna make some walls. We're gonna make ourselves a building. A little tiny building. Nothing crazy. It's not a, it's not like a building, but you know, it's like a sort of closet-esque thing. Good. E. Let's rotate this. Uh, it's probably gonna be like. Uh, so we'll rotate it this direction. Yeah, it's going to be like 60. There we go. Let's get it. Oh, you know what? It's not going to it's not going to work out perfectly like that because of uh how our room is sort of messed up in its orientation. So we'll just have to eyeball it. But that's what you do when you're making a uh when you're making a rough draft, just go ahead and eyeball it. Okay, that looks a little bad, so let's rotate it a bit more, I guess. Oh, that's pretty good. Matches up with the line, pretty good. Yeah, perfect. Um, make this a little smaller, I think. Pretty much just taking what I have in my head and making it a reality. So it's not going to be a huge thing, just a little closet area. But it's going to kind of divide the rest of the room from where you start, which is good for making a maze-like structure, I believe. Uh, Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to extrude the ceiling out. Okay, well, we're going to duplicate this and make another wall. Then we're going to put the ceiling across. Then we're going to bring the ceiling down to make the door. That's our plan. So let's go ahead and duplicate this. Where is our grabby? Oh, I'm not in camera. Okay, so it's not going to be big. It's going to be like yay big. Probably big. That's probably even a little too big. Maybe like yay big. It's about enough yay. Enough Kanye. 
Okay, grab that. Insert edge loop, drag it up, make the ceiling. Yeah, doesn't really matter. Shift, drag it across. We're gonna have to make another edge loop to drag that down now. So we want a vertical to make a horizontal. Boom, insert edge loop, thank you. And make our wall. And this wall the player will actually be able to see because they're gonna be walking through it. So we do it like that. And really quick, let's make sure that we only are extruding the parts that won't have the door frame in it. So we grab this right here, grab a vertical to make a horizontal. As I always say, my famous saying, Insert edge loop. Wait. No, we're trying to make a vertical, so I'm done. Grab the horizontal to make a vertical. And we'll just use these lines, I guess, as a guiding force. Looks about door size to me. Maybe even a little small. All right. Yeah, make it a little bigger, probably. Go like that. And grab that whole edge loop. Drag it out. That should be okay-ish, I don't know. Should be fine for now. What do we say? I don't give a shit. Uh, that actually might be a little big now. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. Ay caramba. I was trying to do that racist B character from The Simpsons, but maybe I shouldn't do that. You know? Maybe I shouldn't. Let's grab it like that. Select the whole edge loop, drag it. That looks Good, that's fine. That's totally cool. We're chilling. All right, now let's shift, drag it down. That is not centered at all. Okay, good to know, good to know. Yeah, that makes sense. That was a little goofy. Uh, okay, so we're gonna need to go back to our edge loop. Maybe we grab this edge and put it. <sighs> on the line and then just drag the other one out however far we need to. And that looks pretty good, right? That's kind of centered. Yeah, that's fine. Please be centered. Shift, drag. How's that look? That's good. I like that. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Let's grab a horizontal bar here. Insert edge loop to make a vertical, which is incorrect. We want to make a horizontal, so we grab a vertical. Gosh. I act like I know what I'm doing. I don't. Um, Oh, that didn't come around. Oh. All right, well, we're, we're eyeballing it. I don't care. <laughs> oh, actually, we don't need to eyeball it. We can just drag this over. We don't need it on both sides to make it another. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Cool. All right, we've added our little shed thing, our closet. Looks decent. Now let's go ahead and let's get up these hospital dividers because we're going to have a bunch of those in there. Hospital screen. Let's have 
And these are way too small. So let's make them like 1.2 maybe. Let's come in, let's come in here and see how it looks at 1.2 before we make any huge changes. <sighs> I do believe I am getting a little tired. That's why my commentary probably isn't on point right now. So that looks pretty solid. It could probably even be a little bit bigger, right? Yeah, let's make it like 1.25 or 1.3. Three. Make them big. Big and scary. Okay, so how are we going to divide this up? Uh, we're going to want to have a nursing station in this. We're going to have, we're going to have like, it's going to look kind of similar to what we have right here. Um, we're going to have like a sort of more open central area, but you're going to have to explore to get to the scarier parts. Oh. Scared the crap out of me. Yeah. Um, Hannah just got here. I'm pretty hungry for lunch, so. Wait, Hannah, what? What are you doing? I don't know, Jess. I'm sorry. Sorry. Oh my gosh, what a goofball. Okay. Uh, so let's get out these nursing stations, and then we're just gonna start adding in hospital goods and. Just see what happens, you know? We iterate. This is this is the process. This is the way. Okay. Look at shape. That looks like a nursing station to me, right? That's probably pretty big. I'm gonna make it a little smaller. Boom shiki. Boom. Let's rotate the bitch. Like 30 degrees, maybe? Uh, 60? Yeah, 60 degrees. Doing no ho Hank from. Uh, oh, shit. I forgot. Yeah, so. What did we rotate this one? From Barry. 54.486. Let's do that. Why not? 54.486. At least it'll be congruent with the closet. Right. So put it somewhere in the center ish. So it's not, you know, it's not going to be exactly like a maze. Uh, would it be cool if it were like literally just a maze? Might be cool like that, but uh, so there are two nursing stations in the floor plan, and then like a space to walk through in the middle of them. I kind of like that, but they can't be too spread apart because let's scale these both down just a little bit to like point nine. Point eight. And then we're going to put hospital screens on the inside of each. Fifty-four point four eight six is the number we're looking for. And we're going to have to duplicate it. Pretty good. 
But we do need to separate these. They're way, way too close. That looks pretty solid, I think. Okay, I think I'm going to end the broadcast here, guys. Uh, you know, I'm getting pretty tired having just caught back, and I'm going to have some lunch, and nobody's actually even listening. So, zero viewers. <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody. <laughs>